At least it wasn't like an off, you know, it was more of a step off. <laughs> oh, wow. Can't get her up. Can't get her up, Juddy. Oh. Old Hopper, you're like me. You're a bit wide around the girth, aren't you? Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, welcome to another uh, edition of uh, Juddy and Josh in the um, Glasshouse Mountains. Yes. Um, this is part two of our little adventure, as you can see. Um, we just ha had a break and, um, yeah, the, the tracks are reasonably challenging. I I'm quite enjoying it. We had just done a little bit of single track. Um, it looked like it had been, um, taped out as a single track. So, uh, that was good. I quite enjoyed it. Um, going through here is reasonably easy type stuff but um with road tires on surprisingly challenging at times uh, like going through those puddles and so forth you get a bit sideways and uh oh look at josh he's he's straight up there man on your josh So, as you can see, my um, audio is not the best. And th there's no real surprises there, is it, guys? Like, I think I'm on my 160th video, and um, I think it might be 161, actually. And there is one constant through the whole thing is, uh, well, two constants is, image stabilization and uh, yeah decent audio which there you know really is not any decent audio uh, Josh and I were just talking in the rest break about stepping it up a notch and I have been looking at getting a, a new camera I'm just waiting for them to come up at the right price and uh, it just so hap happens uh, Insta360 were having a Black Friday sale so I got uh, the motorcycle bundle with the the twin the um, one 360 RS uh, twin model and um, so they came with the 360 lens and the 4k lens and um yeah I, I may still incorporate the hero 3 uh, i'm not quite sure uh how whether i keep the hero 3 on the helmet and use the 360 out the front which i, I think may be a good option it comes with a mic jack so We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, as far as image stab stabilization, I actually quite like the jittery type effect. Uh, it, it's reality, isn't it? So, um, 
it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to put some <laughs> effects in to my uh, with my new cameras to, to get a little bit of uh, vision blur and, and so forth that um, comes naturally with the Hero 3. But a uh, big shout out to my mate Rage who, who loaned me his uh, GoPros for it's been like a year now. So you're a legend, mate, and I'll be passing them back to you very shortly. Um, I may get another um, uh, cam uh, because I have been fiddling around uh, with the 360 lens. I'm quite enjoying using it. Uh, the action camera uh, I haven't even touched yet, which is weird because I thought it was going to be the other way around. So, uh, but that's life, isn't it? You, it's full of surprises. As you see, this, this track, had, track had its challenges. Um, it was quite soft in, in spots, very sandy. And um, with road tyres on, yeah, yeah, it, it had its challenges. Um, there were some ledges along the way. And um, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. But uh, back to the action. Uh, I'll play a bit of uh, music in the background and um, yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> Crash bars worked a tree. That was a big off, man. Smash me. That's all right. Bit of five right there, <laughs> you know. That's all Stick right. that blinker back in. Like, she, as long as she ticks both boxes. Yeah, those blinkers on Thanks the car are, are just made to pop in and out, which is really handy. Yeah. Um, I was doing so well. Oh, well, I am going well. And Josh is like, oh, you're doing well. I wouldn't um, have done that before. By my man, but like, in right my mind, you. if you're not stacking it, I wouldn't have taken that you, on. you're not so. really riding. Like, to you, you're not pushing yourself. Um, and Hopper's just the bike uh, that likes to stack it every now and again, don't you, Hopper? You're a great bike, mate, and uh, I'm so happy to have you between my legs. Um, we, we really had a bit of everything in this adventure. Uh, there were ledges and ruts and loose and puddles and, yeah, we were just heading off... Um, at the moment to actually looking for a site to uh, throw the drone up um, but uh, you know I this this was very soft here um, very sandy um, so I was treading with trepidation uh, I just stacked it so it had hit my confidence quite a bit uh, I was a little bit um, dubious um, to say the least, um, to be going over this terrain where like 10 minutes ago it was nothing. So it just goes to show like, yeah, um, it, something happens to your psyche, doesn't it? And, and I do believe um, we do learn from our mistakes. So... I guess I'm just processing it. And um, Josh is very patient, very patient man. He's, he's probably thinking, what are you doing, Juddy? Like, come on, let's get there, man. 
Um, it was quite warm. We're out in that sun. Yes, I was a little bit shaken, uh, but not stirred, was I? No. I wasn't a martini, was I, Layla? No, honey. Dear Layla's got a big cancer on her head. She hasn't got long to go, have you, honey? Hmm? Oh, no. But there's no pain at the moment. Look at Josh go. He's a, he's a machine, this fella. On adventure bikes with road tyres up the glass house. So I, I still get to work on my editing. My editing skills are getting a little bit better. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. What are you going to do here, Juddy? Hmm? Yes, and, and that, that previous stack had shaken my confidence to the point where I just didn't make the right choice here. Yeah. Yeah, it was always going to happen, wasn't it, Hopper? You ready? Poor old Hopper suffers for my incompetence, but that's okay. Like, lucky Josh was here, man. I tell you what, it took both of us all our strength to lift this freaking bike, man. It is so heavy. It was upside down. Did have the wheels in the air, mind you. Um, thank you, Josh. I appreciate it so much, mate. You don't believe how much I have grown. Had a good start, though. Thanks to you, mate. You're a good man. All right, let's make up for mm. it. I got this. And Juddy's going, well, guess what, man? You fall off the horse, you get back on, okay? And I picked the hardest line up there, mate. I'm like, grit your teeth, bro. so proud of you you just took the bull by the horns you took those wide hangers or hoppers even though they're a bit bent and josh is like you okay man let's go and josh is like you do doing well mate he, he is the perfect coach so i tell you guys throw him 50 bucks 100 bucks for juice beers Come meet me somewhere, Josh. Um, take me for a ride, man. Show me. Show me how it's done, bro, on, on an adventure bike. You know, like, I used to ride dirt bikes when I was young, too. I, admittedly, I pushed them more than I rode them because uh, I couldn't really afford a, a decent dirt bike at the time. But, you know, I thought I had skills. A and you do on a dirt bike and I tell you what it saved me countless times on the road um, having those skills on a dirt bike but you know getting onto a bike that's twice as heavy um, it, it, you know maybe three times as heavy uh, it's never that hard to lift up a dirt bike okay here we go here we go Wow, there you go. You don't see that every day, ladies and gentlemen. Up, up and away.
I didn't know that was there. I thought I was being smart, yeah. Judd's Road. <laughs> Come on, Emma. Let's go. Look at these grubs. Got to do a pee. <laughs> it's time Black Betty had a bit of red nut on her. You know what I've made? <laughs> simple fire, fire trail. So we're going to do a little bit of that and then we're going to get radical. We'll, we'll swap bikes back and we're going to get radical again. Fuck, fuck. You're going to be kind to... Oh, you're nice and slim. Ooh, you're slim. Not like the big Brutus Hopper. Josh is on Hopper. Glad you're not seeing this at the moment. Wow. Oh, this is a different experience, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Oh, this is comfy, Hopper. I wouldn't trade you in for Black Betty.
say, Josh, told me, oh, it's okay. Black Betty's keen to have a little bit of man. <laughs> That other man on your back. I love you, hot. I love you, hopper. Just name, mate. Um, yeah. So we're searching some dirt tracks. Unfortunately, we're sort of running into a bit of um, private property. I know where this road goes. This goes back out onto the highway. I think Josh has got his. Um, what do you call it? Navigation. He's got his... He's hooked into my quad lock. I mean, he's hooked into his quad lock. Quad lock, where are you? I want, I want some sponsorship, mate. Well, I'm, I'm giving you some kudos here on my channel. Yeah. First thing I, met, I noticed on the T7, very much smoother on the road. Very much. Um, I feel a little bit higher uh, in in more of an aggressive position, but when I stand, the the tank is a lot slimmer. So on a hopper, standing can be a little non-intuitive because of the wide tank. But uh, Black Betty has got a, a slimline tank. I'm but standing is quite comfortable, a lot a lot more comfortable compared to, I can see Josh, he stands up on hopper and then he's like, uh, it's a nice smooth bike and I feel comfortable and it's responsive, I don't feel, like I've only just thrown my leg over, I've never ridden a T7 and I feel in command straight away. Even more so than Hopper. I, I, well, it's not as clickable as Hopper. When we're getting off-road, it, it feels a little bit... It feels good. I feel like I'm in control. Even going around there, which on Hopper... Hopper's a dirt bike, but it's a big, heavy dirt bike. Like, yeah, it definitely sounds like a race car on steroids, right? It gives that sound of, oh, yeah. A lot different to the single cylinder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oozes with contentment. Oh, oh, we've got an extra gear. Something the KLR doesn't have. But I feel like I'm in position for battle. With I feel in command when I'm riding this bike. I don't know about what, getting off the road. And, and you know, I, I'm, I don't want to bend Josh's pride and joy. I've been saying that I wouldn't mind hitting a few walks, just sort of, and I already have um, a little bit, the suspension is much more, um, it's stiffer, it feels stiffer, it feels more happy. Oh, where's the back price on this thing? You right, bro? Okay, so welcome back. Um, well, it's been a good day today with uh, riding with Josh. Um, it was good. I just hopped off Black Betty. Um, totally different uh, feel. And I really enjoyed uh, riding her. But once the terrain started to get challenging again, I decided, um, you know, the last thing I want to do is bend Josh's bike. So uh, I jumped back on my bike. And um, I'd already had two 
um, pretty big offs today like it wasn't um, like high speed offs but uh, it was more uh, you know um, dropping from a, a height <laughs> down into the valley below uh, like a famous Bob Dylan song uh, to the valley below smash and um, you know they're both pretty hard hits and uh, you know with road tires you can see I'm trying to get up a little bit here and um, yeah it's a bit sketchy because I, I know I really have to um, you know be careful because that uh, back tire just sliding out on me um, and I was a little bit worried um, you know and it started to become obvious that I was sort of hooked up here I just couldn't make it up I was uh, smoking up the back tire on that rock and um, yeah so uh, not here comes Josh going up Sean this is how it's done Juddy you know what I mean and um, so yeah, Josh is the consummate uh, gentleman. He, he's a good man. He, he's made sure his bike's safe. And, uh, yeah, he's come down to give me a hand to get off this little ledge here. Oh, yeah, I can see the rubber on the rock. Yeah, I was nearly going to send it. And, and you know what? When you start to second-guess yourself... Okay, Josh is sort of saying, oh, yeah, I'd follow that little rut up there if I was you, Juddy. And um, he's kindly given me a little bit of a, a push up over that ledge to get me moving. It, it, it's so cool um, to just be riding with somebody to, to get that, that help. Like, I would have been stuck. Uh, possibly would have crashed my bike um, but it's all the more reason to get some nobbies on the bike I've never ridden it with nobbies and I think uh, you know hopefully uh, it won't be long and throw some nobbies on her eh what do you reckon yeah so I lost my um, feed hey my volume So, um, that's why I'm doing this little voiceover. So you can see the terrain is, is quite challenging. I, I feel I've um, advanced a little bit. Like, I should have just sent it up here. And I took the wrong line there and... You know, Josh must be getting frustrated by now. He's like, far out, man. But, um, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Like, we, uh, yes. <laughs> so I'm trying to go up to the left here. And, um, like, I don't know why I um, pick the lines I do. Like, look at this. Um I guess I, I'm just trying to advance um, and I'm trying to do a little bit more technical stuff. That's why I'm not exactly sending it over a lot of um, areas because cause I, I want to be technical. I think um, I really need knobbies on to, to get a bit more grip if I want to do the trials type riding that I'm doing. Uh, Josh just, yeah, uh, Black Betty, you're straight up there. And anyway, it comes with um, experience, doesn't it? Yeah.
Like good news, ladies and gentlemen. Recently uh, picked up my order from the post office the other day. I'm so excited. I've done a couple of uh... that burst is in the wrong spot. There you go. So what I have to do when I'm editing is I have to do um, like little 20 minute, 15 minute movies. There's the burst. Oh, it's in the right spot. I, don't, I wonder what that other burst was doing there. Pro level, man. Hard zero on a KLR. I like that. Do me a favor, rewind it, and leave in the comments what you think of that. So that was a good little... Uh, Right up that track. I thought it was a great little burst. Yeah, so Josh is putting his cam Thank on the back of help. Hopper. And we're going to keep Stop moving forward. Stop blocking the track, mate. Uh, it's hard to get. Nice volume at the moment. So hopefully with my new camera, I got a, a mic um, plug-in. Um, so hopefully I can sort something out with a mic and work it in with my open face helmet some some way because you know, like I'm not about to start wearing full face helmets. That track, I should have just gone straight up there. Um, it, it was a little bit steeper than it looked, but, um, yeah. Anyway, you live and you learn where this, I really enjoyed this little piece of our adventure because, um, I did get to do a little bit of trolls riding, um, you know, I'm getting more confident, uh, better clutch control, um, yeah, and uh, as you'll see, coming up in the not too distant future, uh, I was very that. proud of myself. Um, Love it. To push my so back. We must have to go up there. Hmm. Yeah, we, we might as well go that way, Josh. What do you reckon, mate? <laughs> Trust me, guys, that log is bigger than it looks on camera. It's going to flick up and hit me, isn't it? So I decided. What's happened to you? What's going on, Josh? It was good to be, be able to repay the favour. To be on the other end of it. Come on, Juddy, you can do it. You're the man, mate. You are the man. I 
cool is that, bro? Thank you. Yeah, thanks for thank being you. my internet riding buddy, there bro. There was no skill involved. It was and just thanks like, to everyone you know, at home. Twist, twist the throttle, you know, I really appreciate what you guys have done bit. for me. And I'll throw in this little like, okay, subscribe, so left comment, like, that's share, absurd, isn't whatever. It? Yeah, did you want to do good with uh, it? You know, I do that because I'm trying to grow my channel. All right. And uh, be interesting to see if the audio comes possible. through here. Yeah, I want to go down it. Talking about doing good yeah. hill. We're getting excited. I'm getting excited. Yeah. I want to stick some knobbies Next on my bike we'll do before I take this hill right. on because, man, uh, oh, it's slippery as. Yeah, slippery as off right camber. Here. And uh, I love you guys. See ya. Yeah.